wondered how AI-generated images might be shaping our perception of the world? This is Midjourney, an AI image generator. You type in a prompt and voila, an image pops out. But here's the thing, when we type people, why does it mostly show white people? AI systems pull from vast data libraries, but who's curating these? And even more important, what biases are they bringing to this table? Someone has to input the data into the system. In the case of our species, anatomically modern humans, we're about 350,000 years old. And certainly if selection had acted on different human groups in different localities strong enough, we could have formed subspecies, but it never did. And that's what people don't get. What people see in terms of our physical attributes, in terms of actual genomic differences is minuscule. Skin color is determined by maybe six major genes out of 19,000, another 14 genes contributing to skin color. I mean, that's less than one thousandth of a percent. So what people think are major things, in fact, are not. Race. It's not biological, it's a social construct. Yet, in these AI systems, there is playing out of the unmarked category that whiteness is perceived as normal. How did whiteness become this normal, unmarked category? It's not just coming from the AI systems. This stems from our cultural database. It's a reflection of what society perceives as normal, or the default. Goodman talks about this normal standard that whiteness is an unmarked racial category acting as a North Star, orienting us to perceive other racial categories as exceptions. The reinforcement of the default has been built up over time and has become common sense. This common sense has stemmed from the slow process of punishment, elimination, and containment strategies enacted by policymakers and European colonists to address a continuing economic and physical threat of the labor class. This continues to be perpetuated in our culture today by a continual erasure and rewriting of history so that those in power can stay in power. But let's cut back to mid-journey. Yep, more white people. Now, let's switch it up. When we prompt different races, suddenly there is diversity. But wait, why are they all looking straight at the camera now? Could it be our cultural imagery? The corporate stock photos that have become our default representation? It's like these systems are saying, hey, diversity is great for something like a brochure. As AI keeps generating these images based on these biases, it's like a feedback loop. The same biases over and over, contaminating our cultural imagery and amplifying these biases. Designers, developers, and all of us involved in the creation and use of this technology can't just apply this AI blindly without risking subjecting humans to this continued discrimination and manipulation. The AI systems, with its facade of objectivity, hides many moments where humans intervene to tweak predictive systems. With each of these tweaks, social and political factors shape the output, often to the detriment of those not part of that process. Of course, this can be problematic too, because AI has no understanding of consequences, right? They have no common sense. They have no larger understanding of context. That's what humans bring to that understanding. So this is not a matter of turning everything over to the AI, right? This is a very complicated collaborative process that has to happen between the AI and the humans. So, next time you see an AI-generated image, remember, it's not just tech, it's also a mirror reflecting our biases. How can we have conversations around navigating the complexities of these systems? How can we ensure we don't perpetuate these harmful biases?